Okay, so the plan for today is to install the trigger wheel and the trigger sensor and see if we can measure the engine speed using the Speedwino. Let's go! that I have the sensor and the trigger wheel installed it is time to connect it to the Speedwino so first let me explain how I'm going to do it this is the sensor I'm going to be using this is a, a back biased hole sensor from a BMW E36 and if you want to buy one you can find the link down in the description okay so this sensor can be represented by this drawing over here we have our trigger wheel and the three pin sensor and what we need to do is to translate the movement of the trigger wheel into this waveform over here and send it through a pin through the pin 25 of the speedwino okay so how we are actually uh, going to do it okay so this sensor over here when the ground pin is connected to earth and the voltage supply pin is connected to uh, 12 volts we can represent this sensor like this which is a switch so when this sensor senses uh, metal the switch Uh, sorry, the switch 
will be closed. And when the sensor does not sense metal, the circuit will be a open switch. So now the problem is to translate the opening, the opening and closing of the switch into this waveform over here. And how we are going to do it? The simplest way is to put a pull-up resistor. So when the sensor senses metal, the switch will be closed. At this point, we'll be connected to ground. So we will have a zero volts over here. And when the sensor does not sense metal, the switch will be open. And sin since this pin has a very high input impedance, we'll have five volts over here. And so the movement of this trigger wheel will translate in this waveform over here. So this is the simplest way to do it. But how I am actually going to do it, I'll use a potentiometer. With this setup over here, I can use the potentiometer as a voltage divider. And I can, I, and I can adjust it to output five volts over here. Now let's translate all of those crappy drawings into an actual circuit. As I explained on the whiteboard, I am connected the potentiometer in order to be able to adjust the output voltage of the sensor. For that, I lined up the sensor with the wheel until the output was high. And then I tweaked the potentiometer until the output reached the desired voltage. This way I was sure I could safely connect the sensor to the board. And with that out of the way, I decided to crank the engine in order to see if the ECU was reading some values or not. And I was relieved to see that in fact it was. This hyped me so much that I decided to start the engine right away. Bang, that it was. The tachometer was showing me the rotational speed of the engine. I gave it a couple of reps to see if the needle would move accordingly, and everything seemed to be working fine. Having the trigger sensor installed and working properly, we can start thinking about playing with other sensors and maybe even the ignition. I don't know yet, I still have to do a lot of homework on it. In any case, that will be a job for another video. So thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.